All right, guys, so we got our boy RD over here. We're gonna do some shopping and watching. My guys, yes, go. sir. Happy Jewelers. It's amazing to finally have you at the shop. 100%, listen, I've been following you guys for a long time. Number one, I love your content. Thanks, bro. My Thank girl you. kills me, I'm at home. She goes, she wants to know what I'm doing on Instagram. <laughs> I'm watching the watches of the week. I love that. I'm seeing what's available because you know what I like? The pricing. Yes. I love how you have the best watches, the rarest watches, and the best prices. Thanks, so it's great to finally be here in person. I'm so happy to check out your inventory. I see some really special pieces in here. I mean, look, we have the everyday stuff. I mean, we have, you know, you want a day dress, we have a day dress. You want a Starbucks, you want a perpetual calendar. And can I ask you a question? Is yep. this the one that Mark Wahlberg's been wearing? Yeah, it Something is like actually. that. It yeah. is, right? Yeah. yeah. Isn't it crazy? A guy like that has every single watch in the collection. Yeah, I see him. And he throws on the mid day dress. I saw him, uh, he goes to a gym that I go to in LA and I see I saw that he has this watch on. I have so much respect for that because I always tell people, yeah. buy what you like, wear what you like, look at everything else afterwards. Sure. It's cool because now I bet this watch is going crazy. It is, is it? Yeah. So yeah, how much is this watch? Yeah, 12 It's what, a thousand bucks over retail? About. That's yeah, a good deal. That's not bad. Yeah. That's not bad at all. That's a lot of watch for the money. Yeah. 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 Love it. Question for you, what are these guys going for now? These ones right now are about 16. Great. Brand new, 16, pre-owned around like 15, five. Like 16, and, that, five, and that's not much five. over, is that double retail? No. Retail five plus tax over. is like five over. Five exactly. over, yeah, exactly. it's a good deal. Yeah, it's yeah. a good deal. They were at one time at 21,000. Yeah, I remember. Yeah. Honestly, right now, today's prices, they're realistic. Right. right. People always ask, oh, the prices come down, did business slow down? I go, no, it actually picked up because now people are open to buying more. One of the questions I wanted to ask you, I saw that watches over S&P and everything are up over time, over in any investment that you can make. Is that correct? Yeah, of course. I saw that too. I mean, like, not all the brands, but, you know, a lot of- The like, right I, stuff. I, the right stuff. Like, yeah. the Yeah, I mean, you're buying, and, like, you know, you know, a Royal Oak like this. This is gonna, over time, yeah, of course, you're gonna make money. And yeah. why And why is that? Is it because it's an anniversary or because it's rare? This is the newest reference number, actually. This is the 15510. But if you go back and look at, like, a 15400, I mean, these were selling in the 20s, bro. Wow. You know what I mean? Now it's like they're yeah, in the 50s, 60s. Wow. Yeah. Like so, this one is the newest. It's like 58,000. So if I'm wanting to start my collection or maybe look at something to hand down to my son yeah. one day, you can come here. I can come here. You can tell me what's right, yes. yeah. what I'll make money on, what's going to hold long term, yeah. what's not going to make money. Of course. You want a smart investment, right? You're going to buy a Starbucks. You're probably going to buy a Batman. Safe bet. Yeah. And then if one of your kids is flashier, you get him a two-tone sub. Love it. And then how much are these guys? This one brand new is about 18000 This one brand new is about eighteen five. Great. Okay. Let me see. I saw some cool stuff. You know, I love... I love the bling also. You do? The bling, yeah. 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 I wanted to see I wanted to see yeah. some of your You know what? Let me show you a really special bling piece. Some some of your This one? The big the big boys. There we go. Check this one out. Have you ever seen this? Yeah, of course. This is an AP iced out. This is one of my first iced out watches that I ever got. Is it really? Yeah. I like that. Back when they were a little bit cheaper than yeah. they are today. <laughs> exactly. So how much is this watch now? 160. It's a good deal. It's not bad. They were over 200, right? Yeah, 280. Yeah, 280. The guy that bought that originally paid 280 grand for it. Yeah. Yeah, I think I paid something 200 something yeah. for mine. Look, so what's cool about this watch? Skeleton open works. Yeah, fully factory. The only thing that's custom is the diamonds, obviously. Um, open work skeleton, 41 millimeter Royal Oak, all stainless steel, all honeycomb setting. Wow. So honeycomb is a new setting? Uh, kind of new setting. It's just like a little bit more. Uh, Less you don't see any uh, spaces or any. Uh, Between the stones? Here. Yeah. Wow. They set them, line them up like diagonal right next to each other. Beautiful. Okay. So now I see you got the big case out. This is insane, guys. I got to ask you a question. Tell me a little bit about this paddock. Yeah. Still in the plastic. I've never even seen a, a, a watch still in the plastic. So how does this, does it come like this from paddock? So when paddock ships it to their ADs, this is how they come. Wow. Paddock ADs have a rule that when the watch leaves the store, it has to be opened up and it has to be put on the customer's wrist because they don't want it being sold afterwards. So this is a 5930P platinum paddock philippe world time some people pay a little bit more extra because it's sealed it is, right? of course yeah. there's about like a five to ten percent premium for it to be sealed wow. but i love the watch and the color so much you're like me i like bright yeah, stuff yeah. yeah anything bright yeah. i go crazy over it i told my brother i said i think i'm gonna rip that bad boy up and wear it he's like, he's like if you wear it i'll kill you yeah. <laughs> 
It's super tempting. I don't know how you don't have it on already. Oh, bro, you don't even know. So what's what's the next best thing in the case? Obviously. Me, I like rubber. Yeah. Right? So I Is this the Aquanaut? Yeah. So this is the 5164R Aquanaut wow. rubber. Travel time. It's beautiful. Wow, guys, look at this. Is this the new newest one? Newest one, 2023. I think it's like literally three weeks old. Really? Yeah. You want to talk about a yacht watch, boat watch? Yeah. That's it right there. And how much is, how much are these? This one is about 110. Sick. In Capri, on a boat, yeah, on a yeah. yacht. Seriously. It's wow. clean. That's a, that's a watch right there. Super clean. That dial is beautiful. And so how do you, oh, they, it just slides up yeah. like this? Yeah. I've always so you wondered. You have to cut it. Oh, really? You have to cut it, yeah. So I'm in the middle of selling this watch right now to one of my good customers. Yes. The only thing I'm so worried about is he has big wrist, and it's a small strap. So I have to literally go order a whole other strap from Paddock. Wait about a month, month and a half just for it to come in so you can wear it. Exactly. Wow. Uh, has he seen it? I bet he's going to go crazy for it. Oh, this. he's been wanting it for about the past month. He's going to be really sad when it doesn't fit, though. Yeah. <laughs> I haven't told him yet. So is this like a new buckle or is that the, yeah. how they all come? No, 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 no. It's always been like that. It's always been like that, but they changed it. On this one. On this one, yeah. Take a look so at on that. the 5980 Nautilus, uh, about a year and a half ago, they went from before you used to have to pull it like this. You almost felt like you were going to break yeah. the bracelet off, right? So about a year and a half ago, Paddock made these two push buttons so you could literally wow. push it open. It's a big difference. Yeah. Like this it, is the yeah. hottest Nautilus in the market. 5990 stainless. 5990 stainless. Try it on. What I like about this is the thickness of it. So the 5712 is very thin. It's like probably half the thickness of that. Wow. This is like... What a good looking watch. Yeah. This is insane. Yeah. Guys, check this out. Big size, thickness And how much is this? This one is 128. It's a good price. Brand new. Great Very price. price. For your girl, so she could keep letting you watch yeah. my videos. I just called her. She goes, hey, are you there? What yeah. do they have for me? I said, just, <laughs> just relax. Yeah. For her too. We got an RM37, full APT. Babe, MVP. Sam, if you're watching, I don't know. You might have to trade in the paddock for go. the Richie. Wow, Love so it. how much is this? 290 Brand Beautiful. new. Beautiful. Did you just get this one in? I literally just bought it. Incredible. This is a pretty watch. This is one of the toughest ones to get to, actually. So, NPTP case? NTPT case. Yeah. yeah. Rose gold casing. Black diamonds on that. Wow. Side. Look at the details on this. Oh, yeah, dude. Insane. It's incredible. They did a really good one job. One of the prettiest ones. Yeah. If it was yeah. a little bit bigger, I could pull it off. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> no, it's gorgeous. Yeah. Did you see this one? No. Let's so check it out. This one is an AP code. Cherb. Wow. $250,000 retail. Wow. This is, to buy this, even if you have the profile with AP for the ability to buy it, you have to be approved by the actual CEO of AP Francois to be able to buy it. So they have to send a request if your profile fits it, and then the Francois has to approve you to buy it. Wow. Francois has got to give you the okay for this one. <laughs> Insane. You know, I love APs. You got to tell me about these guys. So that's the older reference and then this is the newer reference of the black dial. Wow. Can we uh, take yeah. them both Compare. off? And are they the same size? Yeah, same size, 41 million. And how much is each one? This one is about 105 and this one is about 120. Good wow. Deal, dude. That looks good, on good looking watch. There it is. Yeah. Insane guys. What do you think? Okay. Might have to work out a trade. Yeah, we love getting trades too. Can you tell me a little bit about this guy? So this is the 5712G Paddock Nautilus. Gorgeous watch. I mean you're gonna have the power reserve. Uh, calendar wheel, moon face, second hand, and your hour. So this is a, this is an older classic Paddock Nautilus stainless steel. Insane. Gorgeous timepiece. It's so cool because I haven't seen them with the numerals like this before. Yeah. Look how ahead of their yeah, time they beautiful. were. Yeah. Yeah. With, time. Like, Don't forget, wow. the same guys. guy that created Nautilus is the same person that created the Royal Oak. Yeah, oh, Genta. really? Yeah. So Gerald okay. Genta, who had his own watch brand that never took off, created the Nautilus and he created the Royal exactly. Oak. Okay. So he obviously has the right <laughs> touch. <laughs> Two of the hottest watches in the world. In the world. Yeah. yeah. So what do you guys think about the market as it is now? Stable? Look, I, I feel like the market stabilized because I look at my numbers, I look at the amount of watches I sell, yes. and it's the same as it was two years ago. It's just, it's a more affordable price point. For Which me, is great because you probably exactly. sell more watches. Oh, exactly. Yeah, exactly. For me, it's better. I mean, look, if I hold this watch up to you and I say, hey, give me 128000 or give me 225000 yeah. 128 is still yeah, a lot of money, yeah, yeah. but 225 is like, uh, do I yeah. really want it? Right? 
I mean, this one was at 200,000 at one point. Too. Is it like that and in the car market too? hundred percent. Yeah, I mean, G wagons were a hundred over. Now they're sticker. Yeah. yeah so. Exactly. <laughs> so it's bad, right? You sell so more. So from 287 yeah. to 187. Yeah. I mean, yeah. they're still a little bit over, but they're not as as That's much. Crazy. It's the same principle. Yeah. Yeah. Can we dive into this yes. a little bit yeah. and see what we got, guys? Look at this. I mean, talk about bling. This is insane. How sick is this? Are you a tennis chain guy? No? Of course. I like to stack them all together. I love, it. I love the graduated. I love it all. So much attention to detail because for a guy like myself that loves jewelry and is always wearing it, one of the biggest problems with these is they always flip around. As you can see, this one doesn't flip around at all because it's made correctly. These guys know what they're talking about. They have the quality and the craftsmanship, which is super important, guys. That's very important. When that's it comes down important. to jewelry, yeah. that's the most that's important the most thing. Important. The craftsmanship and the workmanship has to be really important. When you look at a piece like this, you know, this is a beautiful attorney band. When you look wow. at it, it's crafted really nice. When you put it on, you don't see too much metal. There's very minimal uh, prongs on it, but it's still like very, very strong. Those stones are not gonna pop out. They ain't gonna go anywhere. You know, I always tell people when they go, when they come to us and they're looking at us, say, we come in after the sale, right? Because we back our product up. We take care of everything. You have an issue? We take care of it. We back it, we lifetime guarantee it, we clean it. There's a reason why we're successful and there's a reason why we're busy. You know what I mean? We don't have a magic potion that we spread around and people run to us. I, I, I came in here earlier and there was a guy in here who says he comes in and he buys a watch every other day. Every other day, yeah. And that's the cool thing about it. You could come in, you can buy, sell, trade, get all of your stuff clean. They've cleaned all of my stuff. These guys are the best in the business. Trust me when I tell you, family owned and operated, someone you can trust, someone you can buy an investment, someone you can buy your girl something amazing. I'm getting <laughs> all the bling. <laughs> Happy wife. Happy life. Exactly. Let's go. Exactly. And what goes good with the ring and the bracelet? Obviously earrings. Let's go. <laughs> no, but we have it all. I mean, look here. I have this is a Piaget minute repeater. I know I have it like covered up a little bit, but this is 250,000 retail. You know what I mean? But then we also have like incredible. You know, you want a Cartier Ball on Blue? This one retails for around like um, close to 30 grand. It's pre owned in immaculate condition for $18,000. I mean, we have it all. Wow. You know what I mean? So Cartier Santos Chrono, brand new. This one's about 8,500. Wimbledon two tone steel and rose. This one is a 2019 pre owned 16.5 AP iced out steel and rose gold, 46,000. Panerai Submersible, brand new. This is the PAM 1232. This one is about 16,000. Full carbon type. I feel like we just did the watches of the week. I know. Exactly. <laughs> Let's go. Nate, did you record yeah, that? So, yeah, so, so, so. Right there. Wow, this is, this is cool. How much is this? That sapphire, right? Yeah. yeah. This is a Hugo Sapphire, brand new, 38,000. Sick. Yeah. It's a little bit cheaper than a Richard yeah. Sapphire. Yeah. <laughs> but it still has the look. It still has the look. Obviously, I love all the bling. How much are some of these iced out watches? This is a day dress, full setting, about 22,000. AP, 41 millimeter Royal Oak, 44,000. This is good for the money. 39 millimeter OP, iced out, 15,000. Can't beat that. You can't, you 15 know what I mean? grand, guys, iced out Rolex. Yeah. Look at that, lots of bling, baby. I love it. Yeah. Question, not only watches, not only chains, if we're looking for a special stone, Wow, wow, wow. Guys, this is insane. Yeah. You don't need your loop for this, okay? <laughs> you don't need your loop. This is a lot of bling. <laughs> Leave your loop at home. This is it, guys. I might put this in my ear like Allen Iverson. I don't know. <laughs> this is incredible. <laughs> incredible, okay? I love it. Wow. Yeah, it's, it's Sam, if you're watching, Maybe this could be your ring. So how much is this? This is uh, GIA yeah, certified. 23 carat K color. 23 VS1. carats. I mean, K is not the best color, but wow. this is up super, super white. Can I see my Don't phone, yeah. please? I got to make a call. Yeah, take a look at this. What's the deal on this? How much is this? KVS1. I mean, like, I'm in it at like 690. That's cheap. Yeah. Wow. That's like a deal. This could be you, babe. 23 carats. Insane. How incredible is this? You're gonna have to come down to Happy Jewelers. <laughs> you're gonna have to come down. I need proposal. Yeah, you're gonna need a proper proposal. Wait, hold on. Let me show you this. We're getting it ready. What's your finger size? Wow. <laughs> you put yourself into a wow. hole now, bro. <laughs> Guys, I'm gonna be working at Happy Jewelers <laughs> for the rest of my life. But wow, look at this. Incredible. 
Guys, this is the biggest diamond I've ever seen in my entire life. 23 carats, GIA certified, insane. There's not just watches, there's not just chains, there's not just wedding bands and bracelets. There's insane diamonds that I've never even seen before. Artie, it was a pleasure, dude. Thank you so much. For Guys, coming family Seriously. for life. You, family Happy for jewelers. Life. Listen, you coming in. make sure you like, follow, subscribe, click that button below. Come to Happy Jewelers, get iced out, get a watch, get a chain. They got it all.